You know, you never know what you might find in the archives. Segment one, three, two, one. Tintin WCSI, Dave Peach with the coach of the Columbus North Bulldogs, William Stearman, on the occasion of his 1,000th game. Coach Stearman, it is uh, right now your 40th campaign at Columbus North. To start things off, what are your thoughts as you, as you prepare and as you uh, get ready for 1,000 games as a coach? Well, David, contrary to what my, you might think, I'm, I'm really just preparing uh, the basketball team for Martinsville which is our next conference game. And, and I'm not really thinking in terms of a 1,000. Uh, it's a long, it's a long, it's a big number when you look back at it. But I, I this, uh, this week I've just worked hard to prepare the team for two games, actually, Martinsville on Friday and, and then Ben Davis on Saturday. When you started in coaching uh, at Waldron for those, for those three years, did you imagine that you'd still be coaching in 19... 91 and on to 92? No. No, David, you don't. I, I can remember when I started at Walter, and our first game was against Flat Rock, and we were looking up, I believe the score was 42 to 52, and uh, when we start over, Marge and I uh, was really lucky to get a place like Walter to start out. The people were good in that community. They helped us get started. They looked after us, and they treated us very, very well. Uh, the three years that we were there and we hated to leave when we we left but we had an opportunity to come to columbus but no one in his uh, most vivid imagination could have thought that uh, you know i'd be coaching here 43 years later about those early days uh, at columbus high school back then you turned around the program a program that hadn't won a regional for i believe 14 years when you got here and in your second year captured a regional what what are your thoughts that uh, the record 21 and 6 and then then following that up with a 21 and 5 record did you know you were going to have that kind of talent coming to Columbus High School at that time no just a matter I think that uh, lucky first of all you got to be lucky when you do and you're successful at anything and and uh, we worked real hard uh, the kids maybe hadn't been driven as hard as uh, I was able to drive them we kind of come in at the right time where we had some good uh, athletes, some good players that wanted to get better, and we were able to go then and win the regional for, uh, you know, actually the next two years. And